This is a tutorial on how to export sound files of of the voices found on on Mac OS 10. Now, I have Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard. But however, you can you can follow this pro process for those of you who still have Mac OS 10 Leopard. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the finder icon in the dock right there once you're there go to the sidebar where it says applications it should take a second to load all the applications now once you're there go to where it says automator it should be the second one down if you don't have audacity if you have audacity installed on there it should be the third one down I have it then you can launch it right there right from there however I have it right on the dock so let me close out of that and let's launch it from the dock I have it assigned to space 2 to avoid all the clutter. Next, just leave the template as is. Then click choose. Then go to the far left, go to this area right here and find where it says text. Go to where it says get specified text, then then drop it down here where it says drag actions or files here to build your workflow. Next, drag where it says text to audio file and drag it there. Alright, so next what you're going to do in in the text field right here type what you really what you want to say and I'm going to hello <laughs> Then you choose your voice. If you're choosing a voice, just press play to see if that's the voice you want. Isn't it nice to have a computer that will talk to you? I would recommend that you would check to see if everything is right. Do this by selecting all the text in here. I just did the command A. Then all you do is you do what's called a right click a right click option where it, where it brings you a menu and then click and then go down to speech and then start speaking hello nothing is as powerful as an idea whose time has come once you're satisfied with it you gotta enter a name for it. It'll automatically save as an AIFF file. Then you choose your destination where you want your file to go. If your folder is not listed in here, go to other and then I'm gonna save it to the desktop and next what you're gonna do is you're gonna click run don't you worry about the other options and that's that and it's right there once you have found your audio file tap the spacebar which will open up a 
quick look panel and it will play back for you. Hello. Nothing is as powerful as an idea whose time has come. Now, if you're going to use another voice for it, then go to System Preferences and go into Speech and the voice that you choose. If it's not listed here, just click on Show More Voices. You got a whole lot more voices right there. Since Bruce is listed here, we'll choose that one. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. And then do the same process to make sure that you've typed in the right things. Make sure that what you want the voice to say is correct. Hmm. Hi. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. Once you're satisfied, once again, click Run to begin the execution of the workflow. And I recommend that you save these workflows. This one where you where you have get specified text and text to audio file. And just like last time, find the file where you desire to store it in and go here. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. Now, if you want the voice's pitch and speed, to be different from normal, unfortunately you cannot do that with um, Automator. In fact, if you want a decent uh, audio clip of uh, voice going slower or faster than normal, then you, ha you would have to go to Audacity and import the clip and select all or part of the clip to make it go faster or slower by choosing a change tempo. However, like you would do in Speakonia on a PC. So you go into Universal Access. And open the voiceover utility. Now, you go to Speech. No, wait. Where is it? Now, if you want uh, just to say something, Without any interruptions, go to where it says when encountering a misspelled word. Go over here and just make sure that you choose do nothing. If you want to have like the thing talking without being interrupted. Now I haven't really tested this out yet. Once you have changed these two settings, I know I didn't show you this one. Make sure you choose this option, the do nothing option for these two. When text attributes change and when encountering a misspelled word. Go over here and, and make sure the volume of default, status, type, attributes, and voiceover menu set to 1. All categories except content set to 1. Don't set it to 0, it won't work. One's the lowest, not zero. When you got that, you can choose the rate, the pitch, well, of course the volume if you want, and the intonation. And intonation is ha is the tone of voice. I'm going to set it to one here. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but... Intonation one, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. All right. Intonation 50. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Maybe if I adjust the pitch. Pitch 50. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Then we can change. Here's what intonation is. Intonation 1. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. So now he kind of sounds monotone there. <laughs> intonation 100. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Intonation 50. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Okay, so there you go. Then what you gotta do is you gotta 
turn on voiceover. You can go to System Preferences and then go to Universal Access. Then turn and click this radio button to turn it on. However, you can use this shortcut here. Then make sure you go you're on the program. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on voiceover. Voiceover on. This is a test. You change the rate to I don't know seventy. <laughs> yeah. You can change the rate. Rate 45. The best way to predict the future is to indent it. Change the pitch. Pitch 65. The best way to predict the future is to indent it. Pitch 85. The best way to predict the future is to indent it. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, I showed you in intonation. Intonation one, the best way to predict the future is to indent it. Intonation fifty, the best way to predict the future is to indent it. Now, someone wanted to know how you put these sound files in iMovie. What you're gonna do? It's pretty simple. This is just a basic uh, project that I did just for the purpose of this video. All you gotta do is you gotta drag it until you see the plus sign. Drag those files to where you want them to be. And that's it. That's pr pretty much how it goes. Let me show you how it works. How it should how it should be. Hello. Nothing is as powerful as an idea whose time has come. Hi. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. Let me show you one more time. Hello. Nothing is as powerful as an idea whose time has come. Hi. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. And there you go.